Winter rye is the basic cover crop that most people use. I used to just grow winter rye, and about 10 years ago, I started growing hairy vetch in with the rye. Hairy vetch is a winter annual. It's planted in the fall, puts on a little bit of growth, stays alive through the winter, and then puts on a lot of growth in the spring, much the way rye does. Without nodulation, the vetch wouldn't fix any nitrogen. When I first started growing vetch, I in inoculated it every year. I'm much more casual about it now. Sometimes I don't inoculate at all. This field was not inoculated last fall, and it does have nodules on it. Now that I've grown it all over my farm, the inoculant is resident in the fields. When I plow rye and hairy vetch down at this stage for crop, sweet corn for instance, I find that I can do without most of the nitrogen, uh, normal nitrogen applications. I do put on a starter, I put on about 30 pounds uh, with a st starter mix, 30 pounds of nitrogen. Then I keep track of it with a pre dress nitrogen test to see if I've got, you know, if we've got heavy rains, we might lose a lot of it. I find that the amount of nitrogen that uh, Ryan Harry Vetch produces will feed early to mid uh, season varieties of corn completely. So corn's up to about five feet high. When you get into those big late varieties of corn, they seem to be using enough more nitrogen that it requires an additional side dressing. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.